excited to talk to you about this film. Thank First you. All, congratulations on the Oscar nomination. How Thank does it you. feel, especially that you and a lot of the cast are also nominated, including Timothée? Oh yes, I know. Um, I know. I'm so I'm so proud of everyone who worked on the movie, and I'm so happy that you know Sersha and Laurie got nominated for their performances in it. Um, and I'm. It's also to having Timothy Timothée. I call him Timmy. Um, Easiest. Timmy. It's just nice that he's part of this too, but for yeah. Call Me By Your Name, because um, it just means he's around for all, you know, and it feels like uh, we get to kind of have a mini Ladybird reunion at all of these events, which is nice. And um, yeah, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't be more th thrilled for everyone. And it feels like such a validation of the incredible hard work that everyone put into it. Yeah, absolutely. There, there was a, a lot of hard work and a lot of heart and sincerity in this film. Mm. Uh, let's talk first about, you know, the tone. There's nothing over dramatic. Everything no. is real and relatable. Yeah. How important was that for you? Uh, yeah, it was really important. I mean, of course, I think it, 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 there, there are defi definitely big emotions in it, but I, I felt like I never wanted it to be active. I yeah. always wanted it to feel real, and that's why I, I chose the actors that I did because they always work out of that place of truth. Um, whether they're playing a scene that's funny or a scene that's dramatic, it's always truthful. Um, I know it's true because I asked Sersha already that you girls met at the Toronto Film Festival yes. and then had, had a read through and then Yes, hotel. that's right. So, how did you feel that she was the right person for it? Um, I just knew right away, yeah. it was like instant. Um, I, it was like from the second she started reading the part, I had that distinct feeling that a third person had entered the room and it was a new person and her name was Lady Bird. And yeah. it was the most uh, thrilling thing. It was like I was getting to meet this creation that I'd only made up on the page. And I was yeah. getting to meet this girl who was, you know, I loved and I felt like was my, my kind of my heroine. Um, so yeah, it was, it was really, it was really, really special. Convenient festival uh, encounters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, you exactly. Events. You know, yeah, you think yeah. you're in the middle of doing all this stuff and press and going to stuff, and then in the middle of it, you can meet someone who's who's your who's your person. Yeah, exactly. Your muse for the film. <laughs> your, your muse for the film, exactly. How important was it also that this film has, you know, probably a, a bit of personal elements to yours, but yeah. not enough for you to be detached enough as a director? Yeah. Well, I mean. I think it's a, it's not, um, I mean, it's set in Sacramento, I'm yeah. from Sacramento and went to Catholic girls school, but I think for me, um, even though the character of Lady Bird is sort of the opposite yeah. of how I was, um, you know, the heart of the story is, is deeply personal. And I'm always interested in films that are personal. They don't need to be autobiographical. I honestly have never cared one way or the other if a film is autobiographical. I'm not, I'm not interested yeah. in, in that part of it. I don't yeah. need to break down what's real. Um, once it is a film, it is constructed. Um, but yeah, that feeling of personal cinema. So yeah. um, that's, that's what I always want as a viewer and that's what I hope I make as a director. Yeah, and, and relatable as well. I mean, judging by, I don't know, what Jessica Chastain wrote about the film, you know, you go to see it and yeah. then you have this bit of a feeling that it speaks well, to you directly. Doesn't well, it? she's also from Sacramento, yeah, no, so yeah. she's, um, she really, yeah, <laughs> she, she really, really related. I actually saw her, um, I saw her before she, she saw the film and she was like, I, I'm a little nervous because you really, we went to the same dance studio yeah. when we were growing up. I mean, like we, there, Sacramento is a city, but it's also kind of a small town and you know all the same people. Like you, you really, um, it's a small world. Uh, and finally, uh, being behind uh, the mm -hmm. camera, uh, does it have a special feel for you when you're not acting as well? Can you concentrate on it? Yeah. Or are you able to do both as well? Oh, I don't think I'm ever going to act in something I direct. Um, I, I, I don't, uh, that would be not, my, that would make me actually, I think, go crazy if I, if I acted while I was directing. Because I, for me, they're, I love them both, but they're different parts of my brain. Um, I love directing though. I do. I love I love being on set and watching other um, actors say words I've written, be 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 bring it all to life. And confiscate their mobile phones. And confiscate their mobile phones. <laughs> I like being queen. Absolutely. Yeah. You're absolutely right and you do it very well. Oh thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks.